Hello and welcome to my magnetic glass. Let's start with the basics because we're not going to waste a lot of time on this. You all must be knowing this. It's called a horseshoe magnet because it is the shape of a horseshoe. This is a round shaped magnet. This is not usually used but it is still called a magnet. This is a ball magnet. And this is a compass. Okay, let's start with the properties. You can see in this, the blue is the south and the red is north. Here it folds the same thing. That's sad. So let's start. Um, the first is like poles repel. You see, I'm placing the north and the north and it's not kind of getting together because it has some they do not attract but if you check with the unlike pulse image which are different like north and south they totally attract oh <laughs> let's move to the second property which is the magnetic reaction is more on the sides at the ends more than the center let's test this I'm gonna place it like unlocked so they can attract wait place south and north and north and south it's not kind of reacting isn't it it's not if you check like this it totally reacts because the magnetic properties are the more strength is in the ends more than the middle we, you can test by this it's totally not attracting wait now it is <laughs> We all know that a compass, it is, it is like an instrument which is used to see a location. It is usually used by travelers to, you know, see the location and just. So, you see this red one? This is the north, the white one is south. So the red one is north, so it always points to the geographical north of the earth. And goes, what goes with the south, the white one. It always points to the south direction, which is the geographical south of the earth. So we can say that the respective uh, north and south, they always point to the respective geographical locations. And a compass, you see this needle in the middle, this, this, metal, uh, this middle metal is totally magnetic. Do you know how to increase and decrease the magnet magnetism of a magnet? Let me show you. First, let's start with how to reduce the magnetism. So, if these put on magnets, and I really don't like these magnets, and I so want to get rid of their magnetism. So, I better burn them. Because when you burn, the, ma it'll, the magnet loses its magnetic properties now to understand uh, the increase or should I say how to make a metal magnetism okay let's do this here is a red which is the north here is a blue which is the south uh, anyway if you want to suppose this is a magnet and this is just a metal, and you really want to make this a magnet. You just rub them. And then, even this becomes a magnet. Remember, whenever you want to make a metal into a magnet, one should be, you should use two metal. One should be a magnet, and one should be like an ordinary one. You rub. This one will, the metal will get the magnetism, magnetism properties. Oh my gosh. You can really try this experiment at your home. Take a horseshoe magnet and a compass. So when you take the south and point it to the north. Yeah, see? The red and the blue are attracting. Means unlike means unlike poles attract. And when you show the north and the south, they also attract because unlike poles attract. <laughs> so I'm trying to show this to the white one because it's coming because 
like posts never attract the always repel. Hope you liked my magnetism class. See you more for more classes. <laughs> Bye.